<laughs> Just as so many other things have changed in our lives in 2020, so have the displays that light up Wakefield Court during the holiday season. Community decorations aren't going to go up, the candy canes, the stockings. There's 41 houses here, probably about 8 to 10 won't decorate at all. While in the middle of a global pandemic, the residents of Wakefield Court had a decision to make. We want to do the display because we want to keep the tradition alive. Other neighbors felt, you know, oh, we're not, you know, prepared to have an influx of people. Um, but it was a good meeting. We all discussed it, you know, for, for the bulk of everybody that uh, everybody's, you know, can do as they wish because it's obviously their own property. Many residents of Wakefield Court decided to keep that tradition alive. Trying to create some normalcy in everybody's lives, uh, I think is, especially at Christmas time, is the biggest thing that we can do. I, I want to, you know, I don't want people to come down here as, as much as they can and, and kind of get in that mindset that we are in a pandemic, um, which we are, but if, if somebody can come through the street, you know, and drive around the street and kind of get lost in, in the beauty of the lights and kind of forget about what's going on for just a few moments, uh, I, I think that's kind of special in everybody's lives right now. Even though many homes will still be decorated, Wakefield Court residents do ask that all CDC distancing guidelines are followed when viewing the lights. If they can drive the street, but if they must walk, uh, the best thing is is just to stay on the path of the sidewalk. Don't come up the, the you know the neighbors' driveways. Don't go in the lights display. Uh, refrain from touching the, you know the decorations if possible. Uh, that, that's the biggest thing for us. For these residents, it's about bringing joy to people during these difficult times. For me, it, it's it's an honor for me to be able to live on a street uh, for Christmas. That's just it's such a staple in Santa Cruz, and and people that come by and say, oh, you know, that's different this year or that, and people remember this. You know, to be a part of that and 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 being part of everybody's lives and tradition in Santa Cruz, it's it's a great honor. And I just enjoy seeing the people walk around and take pictures and and experience, you know, Christmas via Wakefield. Reporting from Wakefield Winter Wonderland, I'm Anthony Newbill.